I hope not. They got. <clears throat> 36 hours in. Pretty good. Game's definitely got some meat to it. Alright, so right now we've got two side stories to do. Um, I think Legacy's left. Maybe to live unbound. To live unbound. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this one and then we'll do the other one. I think these are the last two side stories we can do until post game. Now, I don't think that says anything about how long we have left in the main game, but... So this is the Federation's dirty little secret. Probably just no new squad the members. Were true all along. But maybe I should wait to report back until I can gather more evidence. Oh, she's a spy, man. Scott and Norid. I know you're there. Yes, sir! Huh. I could have sworn we were being sneaky. Impressive. What are you doing here? Well, Scott here was on guard duty, and I was just passing by when we heard noises coming from the restricted area. So, here we are. Yes, sir! Uh, let's use our indoor voices, Scott. Someone else might hear. Yes! <clears throat> Thanks. Jesus, man. You're good at following orders, aren't you? That's kind of an idiot. Now then, Azusa, mind if I ask you the same question? What are you doing here? If I didn't know any better, I think you were snooping around for classified information. It kind of looks like you're a spy. Maybe for the Empire? Boys, please. Why don't we make this our little secret? If you keep this between us, I'll do anything you want. Uh... Oh, oh, I get it. You're trying to seduce us? <laughs> Fucking Nora, dude. No offense, but I'm not interested. The whole mating thing, it just isn't for me. I'm <laughs> fucking base, Nora, dude. Huh? Oh, don't worry about keeping us quiet. We're just curious is all. What a god, dude. If you don't want to tell us what you're up to, that's fine. Honestly, I could care less about military secrets. And Scott here won't try to stop you unless he's ordered to. No, sir! You... You're kidding, right? If an officer caught you letting a spy run free, you'd be done for. Oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Why don't we talk somewhere roomier? I can't stand being cooped up like this. Huh? Hey, hey, wait! Ah, feel that breeze. Nothing like the great outdoors. Yes, sir. Let's do it, man. Are you really not going to turn me in? That's what I said, isn't it? You might as well report me. First I got caught, then my charms fell totally flat. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Oh, sorry about that. But like I said, mating and stuff isn't really my thing. See, I'm from another country, too. Far to the north. Up there, I lived in harmony with Mother Nature. But the higher the human population, the less room left for animals. Breeding with you would be irresponsible. What a fucking hard-ass, man. Jesus, man, we're really dropping those frames a day. I feel like it's the weather, dude. Which is such a fucking... such a dumb thing to say. But I don't know how these lines are affected by shit like the cold and stuff. But in the past, it's caused issues, and they've said to me that that could be part of issues. For me, animals are the only children I want. Mother Nature's the only lover I need. I get what you're saying, but the way you're saying it is totally weirding me out. I'm that's not just me, right? No, sir. <laughs> But you catch my drift about the beauty of nature, don't you? Yes, sir. 
I seriously can't. You boys don't have a care in the world. I kind of envy that. Truth be told, I'm a spy. Not for the Empire, though. If I told you where, I'd have to kill you. Let's say I'm from the Far East and leave it at that. Long story short, I was raised by a clan of assassins. I've been conducting espionage since I was a child. That's why I joined the squad. My mission is to find out what the Federation is hiding, then report back to my clan. She's not really good at her job, is she? Hmm. Should you be telling us all this? Of course not. But you boys reminded me of something. All I've ever wanted was to cut my puppet strings. A life without anyone or anything tying me down. Is that so? Want us to help you? What is up with the net, man? Like, I can't cut the bitrate anymore. We're at 1550. <laughs> They're out there fucking with all the lines and shit. Putting new lines in and stuff. For the, uh, the fiber. But I, 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 maybe they're kicking shit? I don't know, it's just... I just need the new nut, dude. You chose your next game, man. What are we doing, man? What are we playing? Tell me, man. Tell me. Tell me. Help me. With what? Cut your strings. I can't stand the sight of a caged animal. The same goes for people. After all, humans are animals too. We're meant to be free. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How about we make it seem like you died in combat? You can slip away and they'll be none the wiser. This has to be a joke. Why would you stick your necks out for me? You're overthinking it. I love nature, which means I love freedom. And Scott's just that nice of a dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> this one's pretty good, man. He's like, I'm just not into mating. <laughs> My fucking god, man. Allow me to brief you on the upcoming operation. My voice go through. The Ripper just peace out for a few minutes. Oh, you've got. I got right there. <laughs> you can't resist, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want to listen to some fucking SMT music, man. Can't resist, man. He's got the views, man. It's SMT. Everything a growing boy needs. Well, cool, dude. Are you gonna do Demi Fin? Six turns. The conversation, dude. Yep. I feel you, brother. You never finished either of them. What the hell? Oh yeah, dude, play them, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought you'd play them already. What the hecky? You're cleared for deployment, squad E. May the odds be in your favor. Yeah, dude, the final boss in two is one of my favorite SMT final bosses, man. It's really hard and almost Borderline is cheesy bullshit, but I love the music and the visuals are pretty cool. I don't remember the final boss in the first one though. Pay attention, Scott. <clears throat> I'll go over it one more time. Once the fighting starts, we detach from the main force, and then we'll help Azusa escape. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Norid made me an offer I couldn't refuse. But are these boys really here to help me? It's too good to be true.
Well, I'm getting that cut off chat shit too for some reason, aren't I? What is causing that? Yeah, I see that. I just saw it. I don't understand that. I have to ask Guardian about that shit. It's weird, I wonder if it had something to do with Streamlabs. I just changed it by like a couple pixels. And it reset it. That makes me think it's like a big bug. If you change something by one pixel, it shouldn't make like that big a difference. It means it's not getting cut off, it's just like a weird bug. Yeah, it doesn't do it for everything. Well, I'm guessing the, the word has to be just long enough to hit the threshold to cut off. But for you, it was pretty dramatic yesterday. So I don't know. It's weird. I don't understand it. All I can do is try to lay low. Hopefully it's on Streamlabs. See how things shake out. Yeah, I just changed my like one to five pixels. What is the goal? I'll defeat all enemies. Moving out. So badgery. I smell blood. I smell blood. Damn it. The comms are acting up. I mean it worked for me, ma'am. <laughs> Still hoping we finish this by the weekend. Tomorrow I think Goto has the whole day off, so I'll probably be watching that. We're definitely getting there though. Around the weekend, depending on my out-of-town family. Actually, I'll just leave her up here. Where the hell did they go? The slowdowns? Yeah, I don't really know what would be the cause of a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm hoping Ultimate's good. Incoming. I kind of get more into the hype of, uh... I feel like I get more into the hype of a Smash game than I do the actual games themselves, but... It should be cool. Do you plan on playing it, like, competitively online a lot, or are you just gonna fuck around with friends? Oh, yeah, you got your, your biannual... But porkin festival. Naturally. Naturally. Yep. Well, I promise I do tell us. So that's usually that. Not one to break a promise. I just don't make promises very often. <laughs> it acts like I fucking. I'm all about breaking promises or something. That's why I'm always very vague. <laughs> if I say I'm gonna do something. I'll, I'm gonna do it usually. I put a very specific of the time frame on it. Cool, awesome. Yeah, I want to try doing it a little more. I'm gonna rent it. I might buy it after. We'll see. I it. Oh, cool, Rip. I'll have to catch some of that DDS. God, dude. Target destroyed. Good work. Yeah, 428 would be cool. I'll definitely jump on that soon. Probably after Red Dead. Sir, yes, sir. Sorry, I'm sorry. Keep firing. 
Holy shit, fuck, dude. Two, uh, two shock troopers, probably not a good idea to run into. I should have got a better position. We might have to restart this one. We don't need him, but we have to be really aggressive since we have to kill all the enemies on this mission if we want to get a good time. See, man, the grenadiers, you can never plan for these guys. They just appear. And as long as you, they have eyes on you from somewhere, they can hit you. It's really a big bitch, man. They get the jump on you. I heard they nerfed Bayonetta a lot. Yo, they didn't move that guy? Really? Holy shit. It's interesting. Yeah, it wasn't Bayonetta, like, the Scourge, uh balance in that game. Naturally. God, dude, this guy's fucking almost dead. Waste a turn there. Nothing I can really do about it. It's fucking grenade here, dude. Not the smoothest miss on right now. That's good. I know Sakurai was like, didn't care about competitive that much, but he's not the only person making the game, so... I don't see any reason not to have it be balanced competitively. Still would have the party game aspect, just fine. Good. That takes care of that. Next up... Wait, what are you doing? They're already dead. Scott, would you cease fire? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, you gotta mind your words. Scott's like a genie. He'll do whatever you say exactly as you said it. <laughs> Tell him to fight, and he won't stop until he drops. So the hell is wrong with Scott, dude? For? That's impressive. Way too literal, but impressive. Our allies have been taken out. Sniper up here would be better, but would have took him forever to move him. How many hostiles are left? Keep firing! Oop. That was not the great ear, dude. This was. Sniff him out. I never got to play Bayonetta. The character. Here we go play the games, but I was a DLC character and I stopped playing at that point. I think Kalitz has been playing 428, but he doesn't stream, so... Slows down to shit. You think it's your computer then? Your settings? I mean, I was using a pretty old rig and I did it just fine. Enough. Can I take a cat nap? Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Shock troopers. Fuck shit up. Close range. Circle of life. They might be soldiers after all. Get a scout up there. I'll have him snipe that in a bit. Oh, we're doing okay on this one, I think. I think you could definitely, um... In these missions where you have to kill everybody, you can really cut turns down, but... You can, like, really good counter fire on your... Reception fire on your, uh... Shock trooper. 
Okay, that guy could have just killed Scott, but <laughs> alright, dude. Oh, we got another grenade here. Nice, dude. Okay. This mission is just full of grenadiers, dude. Snipe out that one scout, I guess. Guessing he's still up there. No? Okay, snipe out the trooper. Want them to have eyes on us. <clears throat> Sorry. Circle of life. We have to kill this guy at some point, he's just not really a big threat right now. So let's just go ahead anyways. <sighs> Jesus. I don't want to waste our AP. Watch your footing and I need to move a bit. Feel that breeze. Sorry. Fucking grenade is like right on top of that guy, dude. <laughs> Very tanky engineer. They're spotting enemies before they even know we're here. I don't know how you do it, Azusa. Comes with being a spy. Though it helps that my sense of smell, chemicals, body odor, even lies. I can sniff it out plain as the nose on your face. Wow, amazing. So that's how you found us yesterday. Pretty much. Your scent is rather unique, Morin. More like animal musk than body odor. Really? I'll take that as a compliment. This guy, dude. I'm in touch with my wild side. As for you, Scott, it's obvious how hard you work out. The scent of sweat is pretty strong on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad smell. Just a healthy, natural odor. I'd even call it manly. What? You get turned on by B.O.? Huh? Uh, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I was just joking, but based on your reaction, I'm starting to wonder. Yes, sir. <laughs> this guy, dude. That's fucking awesome. This whole group's pretty good. It's kind of the bottom, just like, yeah, I don't, I don't have sex because I fucking don't want to put more humans in the world and destroy nature or whatever. After she tried, like, seducing them. The dude just fucking says like two words. Drop it, okay? We, we are on a mission here, and we need to keep. She's like a spy, and I guess they found her, but they don't give a shit. That was wonderful. Another. Well, if we want to survive, we need to kill the grenadier. Just go ahead and finish him. We can try to do a quick end and then pop back on to kill the grenadesman. Can I get a casualty report? I hope this is the last dude. Fixed it? Good man. Well maybe your MGS2 will work now as well. have been taken out. Stick to the shadows. 
Apparently not. Okay. Hello? Goodbye. I feel like there's a few hiding in the grass somewhere other than him. Got a guy up top as well, huh? Started today. Kill for it, man. I don't know if I'd be able to catch much, but not that long ago. the game. Probably worth getting started. I think a little damage, but is okay. I don't want to have that weird issue where if you're way too close to the guy, you just like shoot right through him. Secret Agent Saki. Fire. Yeah, I feel you, ma'am. All clear. Now let's get while the getting's good. Let's get while the getting's good. Yes, sir. Come on, Asusa. This way. If you say so. Good. Good thing the rest of the squad is drunk on victory. I think we broke off unnoticed. Here's your chance to leave, Azusa. You're free now. I didn't expect you to actually go through with this. I told you, I'm on your side. Scott, too. Yes, ma'am. Well, it was an honor fighting with you. Take care out there. I think I'll stay with the squad. Nope. What a shock. Why? You can finally cut your strings loose. I thought I had nothing left to tie me down here. But now I see I've got two friends who care about me. We've come this far. If I ran away now, I'd be leaving you both in the lurch. My conscience just won't allow it. And besides, I actually like being on the battlefield. Let me guess. You get off on the smell of battle. <laughs> Sorry, I was just ruffling your feathers. But if you don't cut and run now, you'll never be free from your clan or from the army. Not necessarily. What did you just tear up? The classified info I stole yesterday. I've decided not just to. Just gonna work with the army then? If I have to be someone's puppet. At least I can choose who gets to pull my strings. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay. All right. If that's what your conscience says, whatever works, who mom. Try and stop you. Maybe this is your first step toward a life that's free. Like I said, humans are animals too. We long for freedom, sure, but we're social creatures at heart. Am I right? Yes, sir. Well then. No reason to stick around here. Let's regroup with the others. Yes. Let's. Aye, aye. <laughs> Fucking Scott, dude. He really didn't say anything else. Rolls of nature. Maybe he will hear, Mum. Oh, good. You're back. I was worried when you disappeared. Sorry about that. It took us a while to shake those bogeys off our tail. 
In any case, I'm glad you're all safe and sound. Head back to the ship and call it a day. I'll do just that. Thank you, Commander. Oh, right. Uh, sorry, Scott. Do you have a moment? Sir, yes, sir. Something wrong, Commander? No, I just have a couple questions. Someone found evidence of a break-in near the reactor in the restricted area. Huh? I believe you were on patrol that night, Scott. Did you see anything unusual during your watch? No, sir. So you didn't see anything? Nothing at all? <laughs> nothing, sir. I, I didn't see nothing. I was just patrolling, sir. Just following orders. Oh, man. I'm breaking from character. At ease. I'm not accusing you of anything. You're a fine soldier. And an honest man. If you didn't see anything, that's that. Thank you for the report. Sir, yes, sir. Well, that was unexpected. Got the hearts for old Scar, man. Yeah, we can thank our lucky stars. That was close. No, I meant how Scott actually spoke up. <laughs> With something other than a yes, sir. And it was to cover for me. Thank you. No, ma'am. Eh, he's just that good of a dude. Besides, he said he didn't see nothing. Technically, he told the truth. <laughs> I guess so, man. Like a literal genie. You boys are beyond belief. Right back at you. Whoever heard of a spy with a conscience? Point taken. I'm just not cut out for espionage. Sure, you're a lousy spy, but you chose friends over freedom. That makes you a rare breed. <laughs> for a human. I guess I'll take that as a compliment? Fucking Yahoo. Right. Whether I'm tied to an army or a clan, I'm still free to make that choice. Hey, you hear that? I think there's an animal out there. Come on, Scott. Let's go check it out. Yes, sir. There's always a string attached. I love animals. Right on them. Right. Should have another one here. The legacy's left. Nope. I don't remember the name. Nope. God forbid they put a new on it, you know? This is like the first one we did. Ah. Love and logic. Romance theory. Uh, warm milk is so comforting on a cold day like this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's lovely. Man, I could use me some warm milk. Hmm. Is that Aoife over there? Huh. Good. Aoife? That's her name? Oh, if it isn't Yasha. Everything okay? You've been staring at Aoife for a while now. Hmm? Well, how do I put it? Um, when I watch her, I feel this strange surge of pressure in my chest. Attempts to find a cause have been inconclusive. The key seems to be Aoife herself. <sighs> so I've been observing her. That sounds to me like you're in love, Yasha. What? No, ridiculous. Love is only an emotion. If anything, it's chemically induced stress. Most of all, it's irrational. There's no logic, no objective grounding behind it. There's no reason I would be. Uh, do you ever shut up? Look, no one wants to hear you go on and on about logic. Weird, mom. Dunno. I don't know what settings I used. I think I actually used the collection for two. Do you or 
do you not like Aoife? That's what's important here. I think I only emulated the first one. Well, I don't dislike her. Wow, did you hear that? Yasha just admitted to an emotion. I guess he's human after all. <laughs> guess even snooty math geeks can find true love. I'm used to being called a geek, but I'll thank you not to accuse me of snootiness. All right, I see how it is. There's only one option here. Go on, you gotta tell her you love her. Just put your heart into it and show her some passion. Absolutely not. All phenomena in this world can be explained through formulae. Love should be no exception. Some appropriate calculation should be all I need to tell me what to do next. Jesus. About? Here's your calculations. Passion plus passion equals passion. That's all you need. <laughs> Fucking Hannah, dude. Hannah, that isn't how math works. You cannot solve every problem with passion or guts. For one, it's illogical. Well, you can't solve everything with logic either. Come on, you don't need those calculations. Be a man. I'm sorry, I don't see how gender relates to math. <laughs> Fine. You want to show me what you're made of? Then confess to her. Ask her out. Fine. I'll prove you wrong. I'm a man of pride, after all. Good. Hey, Aoife, over here! Well, no turning back now. Whatever happens next, I Seems like a bad idea, man. Little subtlety, whoops. Sometimes is a good thing, man. Oh, hello, everyone. Can I help you with something? No, we were just talking about Yasha's crush. Ah, are we sharing stories? I'd love to join. God, man, that's the worst kind of wingman. And just brute force ship. The most awkward of ways. <laughs> oh, I just love stories about relationships. Would you mind sharing, Yasha? Uh, of course. Let me first begin with probability theory and its relationship to what some know as fate. On the concept of soulmates, we can use a form Jesus. of predictive modeling to establish presumed compatibility. I've constructed my own formula for this. It hasn't been peer-reviewed, but it shows promise. First, if x equals... Uh, time out, Yasha. We need to talk. Come here a second. What's going on? Where are you taking me? I... The, the theorems. The theorem. The delicate. Good God, this isn't even a problem of passion <laughs> or formulas. That was just awful. On so many levels. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's a pity. I was looking forward to hearing about who could have captured Yasha's heart. You really like this stuff, huh? I guess that makes sense. You've got guys tripping over themselves to talk to you. Hmm. I suppose so. Though I'm really not sure why. Really, Yasha's far more attractive and interesting than I am. Don't you think? That geek? Attractive? Geek? That's a bit unkind, isn't it? I do find myself drawn to intelligence in a man. Whoa. Wait, does Yasha actually have a chance with this girl? You're such a sweet girl, Aoife. So modest, too. How'd someone like you end up in the Well, this chick never think you had a chance in the first place? Dude, that's fucked. Well, if I'm being honest, it was for the money. Before I enlisted, it was difficult for me to find steady work. <sighs> Wherever I went, they only saw me as a dark sin. Really? Guess you've been through some tough time. Yes. I've met more than enough kind people to make up for it. I met so many wonderful people in this squad. The only thing to tell somebody's a dark sin is they have like blue hair, dude. <laughs> they all have the same color hair, like very. Like it's hardly even a thing, man. Ah, you're such a sweetheart. You make sure you eat right and stay healthy, okay? I think I'll do just that. I'll be looking forward to tonight's dinner, Hannah. 
Mm -hmm. And then she left. Can you believe it? Aoife's sweet on Yasha, too. I want her to be happy, so I'm gonna do everything I can to get you two together. Well, still, it'll be hard enough just getting him to confess. Last I heard, we have a sortie tomorrow. I'll try to switch some units around to get Yasha and Aoife on a team. If you impress her during a mission, then you'll have a better chance when you finally ask her out. You two seem more invested in this than I am. But I'll do my best in the mission, regardless. Hmm. Love. Allow me to brief you on the upcoming operation. Thank you. Capture all Imperial camps. Yes, sir. You're cleared for deployment, Squad E. Just do your best and you'll be fine. Operation start. Oh, that's too bad, brother. Yasha, you protect Eva with your life. You got that? Keep your voice down, or you're liable to bring the entire Imperial army down on our heads. I fixed it. Yeah, some of those things are required. I'm still to tinker in. <laughs> Yasha, Hannah, let's give them a fight. What the fuck? <laughs> Such a fucking... This is a weird combo of people, man. Sixty from the boss? Oh, there you go. Chance of success. One hundred percent. Hundred percent. Let's cover the fundamentals. Wait, don't I have Joshua with anti-vehicle? Fuck, dude. <laughs> we gotta restart this. Anti-vehicle is not going to be helpful here. Oh, you had it in software the whole time? Dude, software is like insanely hard to actually pull off. I think I've only ever ran one game through software and it still had issues because it was so fucking so hard to run. That was Fatal Frame 1. Yeah, software is like a if you have nothing else emergency thing. It has the least amount of like bugs in it, but it doesn't run for shit. I don't I think it's all CPU done. Um book mode. It'd look better too, man. Yeah, we just we won't be able to do this mission otherwise. I have to Readjust his equipment here. Want her throwing down some quick upgrades to him. Well.
Yeah, for sure. Good. Alright. So what we the problem there was that I had his mortar set to anti vehicle. He's like my backup backup anti vehicle guy, usually. In case I need two at once for a super tank. Riley's my anti personnel person. So uh, I forgot to switch that off. But Katie, there are vehicles in this. It takes way too long. If we want to do a good rank on this, we need to walk behind those tanks with Hannah. Deploy. Really, in a perfect world, I make one of these guys a commander too. I don't care that much about the rank though. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't take more than like a second's worth of prep. But we get A ranks just fine without doing any of that. Then we can spawn other people in. Oh shit. Let's see ballistic trajectory. Fire. I don't know how that guy took like last damage. calculated the impact location for the next payload. It should land 7.26 meters away from our current position. Huh. All according to my calculations. Luckily, there's not many variables at play. Wow. Yasha, you're amazing. <laughs> well, um, just a matter of physics. It was nothing that impressive. Let's focus on the mission. Hmm. Not bad. Just hold out until I make it there. Determine our chances. Precisely. Sploosh. Keep up the good work. Let's get a nice cone for interception fire here. Should have moved the Lancer. The thing is, like, so we spent the whole turn summoning dudes, which will buy us more turns in the long run, as long as this goes over three turns. Or it'll buy us more CP in the long run. But I still need a certain amount of turns to even move the Lancer behind those tanks. So you could argue that maybe I should have sacrificed a turn or two for that, but I think it's fine. That guy's got some aim. I feel like the tanks won't move. <laughs> that guy got fucked, man. Whoa. What the? 
Alright. Not not hurting too bad. We're gonna run a reinforcement into that though next turn. It's weird in these missions you can like call in these guys. I don't think we have any more leaders here. I'm gonna have Kai to shoot these guys up. Minerva handle it. Yo, buddy. Are you learning, little buddy? <laughs> Guy's almost dead. Got the surprise attack on him too. Good. One. I can hear your teeth. What? Hannah. I'll get Raz. I got your back. Take care not to slip on the fresh fallen snow. Don't want Raz. Yeah. Fall in. I got your back. Commencing counterattack. Here they have a grenade here too. Boing, boing, boing. Keep up the good work. There. Need this. Stay here. Is here good? Federation office. The enemy has the gun. I will not cover it. Minerva's still a bitch. Uh, we haven't really done any more story with her, but I mean, yeah, pretty much. Here comes the pain. Incoming! Come on! Really? That didn't hurt him? I've got this. Yeah, pretty much, mom. Her other squad mate isn't an asshole anymore, but I was on a side mission. Oh, this isn't good. I must have sprained my arm when I shielded Eva from the black. What are you doing just standing there? Hannah, be quiet. The enemy will find us. Sorry. You just looked so gloomy. I wanted to perk you up a little. Yeah, by fucking calling him out. Come on, Eva, just a little more. Don't you give up on me? Yes. I can still keep going. Yasha, I know your arm hurts, but I need you to hold out just a little longer, okay? Oh, was it that obvious? Don't worry, I won't tell you, but you're a man of pride, right? You're more attentive than I thought. And here, I assumed you were a tactless simpleton. Yeah, yeah. Less chit-chat, more fighting. This is the final push. Let's show she doesn't have much tact, guns. that's for sure.
What is the mission here? All enemy camps are captured. Okay. Please hit. <laughs> nice. I see. Understood. How many grenadiers are there, dude? There. Enemy down. Nice. Keep up the Understood. Watch out! They're on to you! Enemies. You're being targeted. Holy sheep shit. Interception damage half a little fucking late, man. Camo doesn't look half bad. 